In this video, we are going to learn how to do unit conversion a different way. This way is using dimensional analysis. Um, and here are the steps for dimensional analysis. One, write down the conversion factors. Now, a conversion factor is an equation relating one unit to another. An example of a conversion factor would be that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. That's a conversion factor. Another one would be that 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So you're relating one unit to another. Step two is to write down the number and units you start with on the left side of your page. Number three, set up the same number of fractions as you have conversion factors. Step four, write the units you want to convert to on the top, the numerator. Step five, write the units you want to convert from on the bottom, denominator. So another way to think about that is the units you're seeking, you want to have on the top, the units you already have go on the bottom. Number six, cancel out repeated units on the top and the bottom. Step seven, multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. Step eight, you get your answer. Now these steps will make more sense once we do some examples. So, let me just get a piece of paper so we can do a couple examples. Let's do one of the ones you've seen before. But instead of using the moving the decimal over method, we are going to use dimensional analysis. And I'm going to go for using an orange pen. So let's do... Let's do this problem. So we first have to write down the conversion factors. In other words, we have to write down an equation that relates milliliters to liters. Now, milli is one one thousandth. What this means is that one milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. The easier way to write that is that in one liter, there are 1,000 milliliters, okay? That is our conversion factor. The next thing we want to do is write down the number and units you start with on the left side of your page. So on the left side over here, I'm just going to write down what I start with. 7,705 milliliters. Then you want to set up the same number of fractions as you have conversion factors. We have one conversion factor, so we want to set up one fraction. So we put a multiplication sign, and there's setting up our fraction. Number four, write the units you want to convert to on the top, so seek. And number five, write the units you want to convert from on the bottom, have. The units I already have are milliliters. So I want to write 1,000 milliliters on the bottom here. Now, the units I am seeking is the liter. The conversion factor tells us that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Now, the reason we're able to do this is because 
basically we're multiplying by one. So this is the same as this, just like three over three is equal to one, x over x is equal to one. This is the same thing.